The Bay County community is mourning the loss of a caregiver who lost his battle with COVID-19. Ricky Maples was a 2005 graduate of Rutherford High School and had worked at Sims Veterans Nursing Home for more than 10 years as a CNA. News 13's Tess Rowland spoke with those who knew and loved him. Just really a, a, a bright person and very loving. That's how friends describe Ricky Maples. The residents' faces would just light up when they saw Ricky come in the room. And his passion for caring for others started young. He joined the Health Occupations of America Club um, for, at Rutherford because he's always wanted to work in the healthcare industry. He's just a loving, caring, an amazing guy. A former co-worker who doesn't wish to be named says Ricky began to feel a slight cold towards the beginning of the month, but he never thought his condition would worsen. Ricky's whole thing was is he never complained. He never talked about himself. Even while he's in the hospital, he would FaceTime people, you know, just happy Ricky. The Clifford Sims State Veterans Nursing Home released a statement mourning the loss of Ricky, saying he was a shining light who was born to serve others. His veterans loved him, so did our staff members. Right now, the Florida Department of Veteran Affairs says 16 staff members and 15 residents are positive with COVID-19. Since the pandemic started, 11 residents have died from the virus. Maples is the first staff member to die from the virus. Now friends of Ricky are urging other community members to wear masks and take the virus more seriously. This virus doesn't discriminate against age, race, sex, religion, anything. But they find comfort knowing Ricky is at peace. Ricky definitely died doing what he loved, taking care of people that he loved. In Panama City, Tess Rowland, News 13, Panhandle Strong.